Hello everyone, this video is about creating image sequences from Unreal and then what do you do with them afterwards? So um, let's get right into it. Inside of Unreal right here I have the architectural template. I haven't made any changes to it okay so there's a lot of useful things in the templates and that's why I've chosen this one because inside of this template we have three cameras already set up for us and we have a couple of sequences so the cameras if I click on them we can see a preview of the direction in which they're pointing and um, all of these cameras have been added it added to the sequence here so if I go to this sequence you can see the sequence icons there but if I right click I can choose to edit the sequence and um, I can run through the sequence and you can see that in this sequence it affects the sun and sky okay so you might be starting off with a very with a basic project maybe just animating the camera because we're thinking about projects where we're going to do like a fly through or walk through of um, the spaces that you are creating so um, unreal is a really good uh, way to do that so once you have a sequence and in this case I'm actually going to use the master sequence here so I'm going to right click edit sequence master and <clears throat> with this open I'm going to press on the clapperboard here and this will allow me to export this sequence now something we've been discussing is how you export these walkthroughs you can export them as a video file of course but you may want to export them as single images and this is best practice because if anything goes wrong with your computer and it's a big project rendering can take time and uh, if there is a crash with a video file that whole file will not work but with an image sequence you'll be able to start off where you finish so you'll be able to carry on from frame 360 or something like that so in this instance we're going to create an image sequence it's going to be JPEG I'm not going to change the resolution I'm going to uh, change maybe where I save it by clicking on the output directory so in here I've got my desktop I've got my Revit to Unreal folder and I've already got a sequence capture so I'm going to add a new uh, a new folder and I'm going to call this seek uh, 2 okay and I'm going to choose to select that folder and there we go that's ready now and then I'm going to choose to capture movie and save selected I'm going to choose save selected and here we go so the advantage of using um, Unreal is that it is real-time rendering and you can see that it is actually uh, giving us a preview and hopefully it is capturing all these stills very quickly so I'm going to open the capture folder so we can take a little look at what's going on there and you can see that already it has captured over a thousand stills which is amazingly fast um, something we're going to look at briefly in this video is if we were going to create a walkthrough uh, with Revit and uh, that would obviously be a much longer process uh, because it would have to render out each frame and it wouldn't be using real-time rendering to do it so um, this is nearly finished it's uh, yet yeah, just a few more to go because in this walkthrough there's 2250 still images so we're very nearly there and it looks like it's done capture finished it says so how quick was that that was fantastic so I can close this window now I'm going to close this one as well um, and we're going to go into Adobe Premiere to begin with to talk about what we do with the stills afterwards so I'm going to click on Premiere 
we're inside of Adobe Premiere now and um, there's nothing too daunting here all right we have our project window here and I'm going to right click and choose import okay so I didn't do anything special with my Premiere Pro project I just chose all the defaults uh, and started it up and now I'm going to access some media to add that to my project so here we have our capture sequence all 2250 frames what you must remember if you're bringing in a sequence is that you select the first frame of that sequence make sure the box is ticked image sequence and then press open so Premiere Pro will make sure that all of those stills are made up into one walkthrough file here we go inside of our project browser we have the media which is our exterior of our architectural template from Unreal. What do we do from it? Uh, do with it now? We have to drag it into this area here, which is our timeline, and that will automatically create a new sequence inside of Premiere Pro. Now we can press play, and we can see the uh, rendered stills all being put together to make this very smooth animation and you can see inside of Premiere Pro that we have several uh, layers in our timeline we can add different tracks for audio different video tracks overlap them fade them cut them edit them and prepare them so that's looking really good it's about it's just over a minute uh, this uh, it probably took about the same time to play the animation as it did to render in Unreal and that is just brilliant so I'm using the spacebar to press play there and uh, we should see the final section where uh, the shadows are being animated uh, with our walkthrough here which looks really great so once you have your animation ready inside of Premiere Pro or After Effects and we'll have a brief look at After Effects as well you then want to um, export or render this into a file format that you can use to send to other people so they can see it uh, you might want to create a file format that's going to upload to YouTube and then share it from there or you might want to create a mp4 that you just want to send in an email or something like that so once you're ready all we have to do is go to File Oh, and we have to make sure actually that this um, sequence is selected. Let's go File and down to Export, and then we click Media. Now you can see there's a key shortcut of Control M. Once you've done that, uh, what will happen is we get these export settings. Now I'm not going to change any of these settings. Um, we could have a look later on. At the bitrate because that can dramatically um, increase or decrease the file size and we can see estimated file size is written there as 116 megabytes so if we wanted to reduce that we could we could take this down um, I'm gonna go down so that it's just above 4 and you can now see that that's 49 megabytes. It's made a big difference. Um, once you've changed any settings, you normally would just leave these settings alone. However, I will draw your attention here. At the uh, preset, you might want to select um, something specific for YouTube or Vimeo if you know the dis destination for this file. So if I chose YouTube 1080p Full HD, uh, you can now see that the estimated file size has increased a little bit, but that's fine. Let's try that. So I'm going to press Q, and what that does is it opens up Adobe Media Encoder. So this is another application, but there's a really good reason for this. Because so many of Adobe's um, programs uh, need to be rendered out to video or audio, uh, they've separated it out so that we have one application which everything goes through and that makes it incredibly fast if you want to uh, convert a file or anything like that so um, it's very accessible so Adobe Media Encoder has opened up we can see the file just here 
and um, at the moment it's going to save to my download so I'm just going to change the destination um, maybe to my documents and it's called exterior.001 that's okay for now and I am going to press save okay so now that it's done that I can just press play there's the green play icon and now it's rendering out that video to H264, H.264, which is uh, native to YouTube. And it's setting up this um, walkthrough so that it's HD quality uh, for YouTube. And I'd be able to upload that uh, very quickly. And it wouldn't take much um, reconfiguring on YouTube's end because it would already be set up for it. So there it is and there's the file all done and if i have a little look inside of my documents and here is here is the video let's move that on so you can see it let's press play there it is mp4 h.264 um walkthrough ready to be uploaded to youtube fantastic so it really was very simple so let's um, close that and let's have a quick look at After Effects so this is After Effects and uh, the same process pretty much so we go to our project window right click and choose import file uh, from here you select the first image in your uh, image sequence and then you make sure that it's ticked where it says importer JPEG sequence press import okay now all we have to do is drag this file down to our timeline very similar to what we did in Premiere Pro and you can see here we have our animation inside of After Effects okay uh, this is the composition this is the timeline you can change the length of your composition um, by going to composition settings you can change the time if it needs to be a bit longer to fit the walkthrough in you can change it here you can also make it shorter that's not a problem okay once everything is ready in After Effects so in After Effects obviously we could add all sorts of effects maybe text and other images some other stills and we could have a sound that all needs to be added to the timeline once you're ready you'll then go to composition add to Adobe Media Encoder Q and when you do that it opens up Adobe Media Encoder and you will see it listed there um, not quite yet you can see the Premiere Pro one is listed and it's ticked here is the file from After Effects so we've got the Premiere Pro logo just here we've got the After Effects logo just here we can see there is our new file we could just press play and then it will create that video walkthrough for us okay um, so that's how you get your uh, image sequence out of Unreal then you take it into Premiere Pro or After Effects and you can stitch all those individual frames together and create that animation. Uh, after you've done that, you go to Adobe Media Encoder and you create something that you can put on YouTube. The process is very quick and very simple. Uh, one last detail I would like to share with you is about getting a sequence out of Revit. So. Here we are in Revit. I've got a very basic building, four walls, a bunch of windows and a couple of doors. And what we need to do if we want to create a walkthrough image sequence is we need to go to the view tab. So you can see that's highlighted here under 3D view. We can choose walkthrough with this tool. You can click dot to dot and you can add a walkthrough to your document. Now if I press edit walkthrough you can see these controls right here and if I go back to frame one um, just like so and click back on edit walkthrough and also in my project browser you can see we have a new walkthroughs um, heading added and here is our walkthrough. If I um, if I go to edit walkthrough one more time, we should be able to press play 
and we can see our walkthrough. So at the moment, this is all set up as hidden line. Very simple, black lines and white. Now, um, so we could render out these images and um, it would currently create 300 images. And again, we could bring that into Premiere Pro or After Effects, not a problem. So if you wanted a rendered version, you'd need to go to the export options. Just down the bottom of the list, we have images and animation. And if we select walkthrough here, we can choose to export all the frames at the moment. That's 300. OK, you can increase and decrease those frames. You can change the dimension of those frames. You can also change whether it is hidden line or maybe if you wanted to use rendering or realistic with edges. So all the same options that you've got in the main, main viewport of Revit, you can choose for um, your walkthrough uh, and how you export it. If you choose rendering, uh, do expect this to take some time you're using um, you're making your machine work quite hard and this may take a considerable amount of time to render out each still that might be a couple of minutes for each frame so if you had um, 2250 frames like we did in Unreal you could expect to uh, be using several hours of your machine just working away at those frames um, from Revit okay so I'm not going to do that right now but that is how you create your image sequence in Revit and then you apply the same techniques to bring it all together using Premiere or After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. If you've got any questions please just let me know and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.